Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. Got some big old rent checks coming to y'all today, folks. How y'all doing? Are you doing good? I'm doing great. You're going to be doing greater when you see this rent roll right there next to me, man. 860 out of one unit, 795 out of the other, right? That's 1655, right? This bad boy listed at 124.9. It's a really nice part of Cleveland, right? Archmere over there, the 44144 zip code. This is super nice, man. It like sp it splits, right? That zip code, half of it's the city of Cleveland. Uh, the other half of it is the city of Brooklyn, right? And the city services and, and such typically a little higher end in uh, Brooklyn than they are in Cleveland. You got the little rec center uh, action over there too. Like super nice, right? Super, super nice, man. So that's why we're getting pretty premium rents on this sucker. Uh, to be honest with you too, these tenants have been in there for a little bit. Uh, Holton Weiss is managing this. Um, we'd actually probably right now uh, in today, right? Like, you know, as you guys are aware, right? It's 2022. The pricing on properties nationwide is higher. Well, guess what? Good news. So is the rent. Uh, today, if we were to replace both of those tenants, we would probably do so at 900. Now, obviously, once their uh, leases come up, right, we aim to do uh, rental increases. But at Holton Wise, you know, it's, it's a company strategy uh, that we don't typically go to the max at all times, right? Like uh, it's small, small incremental changes, right? Like 25, 50, 75 is usually what we're trying to do, right? Because we don't want to create an artificial turnover for you. Uh, we feel that if you're always going to the max, uh, you could uh, create some turnovers that don't need to happen, right? So you don't want to uh, you know, miss dimes chasing pennies, right? Or you don't want to do that, right? So I would say at the next lease up, we'll probably take the 860 person to like 875, and then we'll take the 795 person to like 850, right? So 900 would be the market rent if I were to place a new tenant, but I'm not telling you, I'm not trying to sell you on the fact that we're going to go right to 900 immediately because as you've seen from the footage of one of the occupied units that we've provided you with, uh, you'd have to do, you know, some cleaning, some painting, this or that. You would lose that tiny incremental increase in your vacancy, your lease up costs, and uh, your time uh, paying us to fix it up a little bit, right? You don't want to do that. It don't make sense, right? So you want to keep butts in the properties as much as you can. And then when you get a property like this in one of the higher end, nicer parts of the city of Cleveland, right? Like most areas in Cleveland where you guys are buying duplexes uh, frequently, right? The majority of duplexes you see on the investment properties for sale show and that people are custom ordering from me from the MLS search and analysis show, it seems like the majority of properties y'all are focusing on are in what I would call C-grade neighborhoods. That's what you guys typically see a lot on the west side of Cleveland. I would say this is as close to B as you can get on the west side of Cleveland uh, before going into some of the suburbs, right? And what else we got that's really good with this particular property, too, uh, is the lead certification is not going to be anticipated to be a costly endeavor on this property. Now, lead certification. There might be some viewers out there who's watching this show, and that might be the first time they've ever heard me say something about lead certification, or maybe they've never seen me, and that might be the first time they've ever heard any type of Cleveland broker or Cleveland investor or Cleveland seller or Cleveland realtor, whatever you want to say, talk about lead certification. Folks, we need to talk about lead certification. That is a big deal. That is a big, big deal. That is going to change how landlording and property management and real estate sales is done in the Cleveland market, right? I uh, dropped a video specifically teaching you guys how this process works. I, of course, have linked it below because I'm a friggin' nice guy. That's what I do. Y'all need to watch that, okay? It's literally like a half hour long because this is not a simple policy. It is very cumbersome. Does that mean you shouldn't buy properties in Cleveland anymore? No, 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 no. It doesn't mean that at all, folks. But what it does mean is you need to make sure you're doing the proper due diligence. Something that I talk about in that video, and this is the most alarming thing. 
There is about 90,000 rental units in the city of Cleveland. Last time I uh, checked the numbers, checked the statistics, they were estimating only 7,000 rental units were lead certified, okay? So, means we got a lot to do, okay? Uh, and it, it was rolled out over a period of time, right? So this particular property is not lead certified uh, because it's not actually supposed to be lead certified yet. This one's supposed to be lead certified later in the year, end of June, okay? Um, so... When we get this thing lead certified, it'll be done by the new buyer, right? The seller, he's selling it now, so he's obviously not going to be uh, certifying it. And the lead certified process, it takes a little bit of time. And, folks, you bet yourselves, you bet your booties there's a little backlog. It takes a little bit of time to get that done, okay? Again, you need to watch that video. But what I'm really trying to stress to you folks is there are a lot of people out there who are trying to sell properties that have already supposed to been lead certified. They're not getting these lead certifications. And then new buyers, when they're trying to evict your tenants or uh, register the rental properties, they're running into major issues because you can't evict people in Cleveland anymore unless you're lead certified, unless you're not supposed to be lead certified. Like this one would have an exemption because you're not past due. So I guess what I should say is you can't evict people in Cleveland if – uh, you are delinquent on your lead certification. Let's say it that way. That's the more accurate way to say it, right? So this one is going to need to be lead certified, right? As is everything eventually. So when you're buying these properties up front, folks, you got to keep in mind what's going on with it, right? And the two biggest pain points, the two biggest costs, right? Vinyl windows, vinyl siding. If you're buying a property, an old 100-year-old property in Cleveland, it's got the old wood windows and it's got peeling wood siding or a lot of peeling surfaces on the exterior, you're going to be in for a huge cost uh, when you're doing your lead certification renovations, right? Cool thing is this one's not going to have that, right? we got about 12-year-old vinyl windows here, no issue there, and we don't have any issues on the exterior, right? No wood siding, peeling, nothing like that, right? So we are in pretty good shape. So... It's going to be fairly easy, uh, as easy as it could possibly be, to get something like this lead certified. So you don't have a big old, woo, big old crazy bill coming your way, right? But some of these, man, I've seen the lead certification bids be as high as $40,000 on some of these old homes, right? And what that's going to entail is it's going to entail a property in Cleveland that, like, you know, one of these big, massive, like, 2,000, 2,500 square foot duplexes that's all wood siding, all chipping, Right. You're dropping like fifteen, friggin' almost twenty thousand dollars to vinyl side something like that. You know, scrape and paint the front porch, and then redo every single unit. Woo boy, window or redo every single window in in, in the units is what I meant to say, right? Windows. Woo. Whoa, boy, those are expensive these days, right? It's 2022, folks. Uh, supply chains are effed. Okay, it takes a long time to get windows, right? So the moral of the story is this deal. Solid, good, safe, as are many deals in Cleveland, but there's a lot of deals in Cleveland right now that are a ticking time bomb, and I'm seeing a lot of other real estate agents out there uh, making no mention of these lead certification laws because, let's face it, not a lot of people are even aware they exist. That's why only 7,000 out of 90,000 have been compliant. When where we are in the schedule, we should probably be, oh, I don't know, of the 90,000 uh, based on the rollouts. Uh, and I have the link to the rollouts uh, in the video where I talk about it. I mean, we should probably at this point to be on pace, to be on time as a city, we should probably be around like 60,000 certified, right? We're only at seven. So we are greatly behind the eight ball, right? And there's a lot of people out there that are going to get caught holding the bag, holding the hot potato, so to speak. So I suggest... If you're out there, you pay attention to my show, what I'm talking to you about, and anytime you try to buy a rental property in the city of Cleveland, you make sure you ask the sellers what's going on with that lead certification. And if you get an answer of, well, I don't know, I never heard of that, that's a red flag. Y'all better get back here to Holton Wise TV where I'm going to give you the insight because that, folks, is what we do. And as I said, this one shouldn't be much of an issue. Holton Wise will be able to take care of the lead certification process when it's due in late June. If you want to make an offer on this beast of a deal, just send your offer to sales at holdenwise.com. If you want to pay cash, great. Need your proof of funds. If you want to pay with a loan, totally fine, man. Go ahead. Get yourself a loan. Use the bank's money. Get the sucker appraised, right? Appraisals are another way to make sure you're not overpaying, right? Because the majority of the money is going to be the bank's money, folks. Think of it as a pizza. I love pizza. If there's four pieces of pizza, folks. 
you. You're going to bring one itty-bitty little piece of pizza. The bank going to bring three pieces of pizza, right? They got three pieces out of the pie, okay? Moral of the story is the bank's putting up more money than you are, and no matter how dumb or idiotic or brand new you are, the bank ain't going to let you lose their money, right? So if you're a brand new investor, not to say brand new investors are dumb, we all got to start somewhere. What I'm telling you is if you finance an investment property, if you're a new investor, it's a great way to make sure you do not accidentally overpay because the bank won't let you overpay because they got three times the skin in the game that you do. So let me get them offers, folks. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about Cleveland real estate, but you're not necessarily interested in buying this property, you want me to help you find something different, I can do so as well. Click the notes below. Book a free call at my team. Learn how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one to help you invest in Cleveland real estate. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.